Hello everyone. Welcome to the old man in the reed. My name is Jerry. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, continuing on my presentations uh, of videos uh, for the award-winning books that I've read. And today I'm going to be uh, showing the Penn Faulkner Award for Fiction Books. Uh, this is a fairly recent Award. It began in 1981, uh, and it's one I haven't been at for a long time. I've managed to read all of the uh, winning books but one, and uh, several of the uh, finalists, but uh, not a huge amount. So I should be able to do this video in one uh, take instead of uh, breaking it up like I have on some of the other awards. Uh, so this is the Penn Faulkner is awarded to uh, the best works of um, Ameri living American citizens. Uh, it was it began uh, from uh, it was started from the winnings that Penn or William Faulkner had won in his Nobel Prize, and uh, it. Uh, it was started because the feeling was that the National Book Award had become too commercial. So anyway, that's the history of the award. Uh, and like I said, it began in 1981. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started on and show the books that I've read. Uh, the first book uh, was uh, written by Walter Abish, How German Is It? And uh, I read a couple of the finalists for that uh, year. Uh, Gilbert Sorrentino, Aberration of Starlight. And John Kennedy Toole, A Confederacy of Dunces. Okay, 1982, the winner was David Bradley. Uh, for the Cheneysville incident. And uh, I read a few of the uh, finalists for that year. Uh, Donald Bartholomew, 60 Stories. Mark Helprin, Ellis Island. Marilyn Robinson, Housekeeping. And uh, finally, Robert Stone, A Flag for Sunrise. Then in uh, 1983, the winner was Toby Olson for Sea View. And I read. Uh, Couple of the finalists for that year: uh, Maureen Howard, Grace Abounding, and Ann Tyler, Dinner at the Homesick Restaurant. Nineteen eighty-four, the winner was John Edgar Whit White Weidman for Sent for You Yesterday. And I uh, read a couple of the finalists. Um, William Kennedy, Ironweed. And uh, Jamaica Kincaid, At the Bottom of the River. Okay, in 1985, the winner was Tobias Wolf for The Barracks Thief. And I didn't read any of the finalists from that year. Uh, 1986, the winner was uh, Peter Taylor, The Old Forest and Other Stories. And uh, I read one of the finalists, uh, Larry McMurtry, Lonesome Dove. 
really quite uh, a good book. I, I really enjoyed that one. 1987, the winner was Richard Wiley, Soldiers in Hiding. And uh, I did read one of the finalists, uh, Richard Ford, but for uh, the sports writer, but I couldn't locate the book, so uh, I don't have that to show. Uh, then in 1988, the winner was T.C. Boyle for uh, World's End. And uh, I read a couple of the finalists. Uh, Alice McDermott, That Night. And Cynthia Ozick, The Messiah of Stockholm. Nineteen eighty nine, the winner was James Salter, Dusk and Other Stories. And I read one finalist from that year, uh, Isaac Bashevis Singer, The Death of Methuselah. Uh, Nineteen ninety, the winner was E. L. Doctor O for Billy Bathgate. And I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. Uh, 1991, the winner was John Edgar Weidman, Philadelphia Fire. And I read one of the finalists, uh, Stephen Milhauser, Barnum Museum. Nineteen ninety two, the winner was Don DeLillo for Mao Two. And I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. Uh, nineteen ninety three, the winner was Annie Pru for postcards. And I read one finalist, Robert Olin Butler. A Good Scent from a Strange Mountain. Nineteen ninety four, the winner was Philip Roth, Operation Shylock, a Confession. And uh, I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. Uh, 1995, the winner was David Gutterson, Snow Falling on Cedars. And again, I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. 1996, the winner was Richard Ford, Independence Day. And I read one finalist for that year, Madison Smart Bell, All Souls Rising. Nineteen ninety seven, the winner was G Jenna Jenna Brault, Gina Brault, for Women in Their Beds. Uh, just a really an exceptionally good short story collection. And I read one of the finalists, uh, Jamaica Kincaid, The Autobiography of My Mother. Nineteen ninety eight, the winner was uh, Rafai Zabor, The Bear Comes Home about a, a bear that plays jazz. And I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. 1999, the winner was Michael Cunningham for The Hours. 
and I read a couple of the finalists. Russell Banks, Cloud Splitter. And uh, Barbara King Solver, The Poison Wood Bible. In the year 2000, the winner was Ha Jin for Waiting. And I read one of the finalists, Ken Kalfas, PU239, and other Russian fantasies. Uh, the year 2001, the winner was Philip Roth for The Human Stain. Again, that's a book I've read. I couldn't find it on my bookshelf, so, so I don't have it to show you. Uh, I did read one of the finalists for that year, uh, Michael Chabon, The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. Just a, really a marvelous book. Uh, in the year 2002, the winner was Ann Patchett for Bel Canto. And I read one of the finalists, Jonathan Franzen, The Corrections. The year 2003, the winner, winner was Sabina Murray for The Caprices. And I read one finalist, Gilbert Sorrentino, Little Casino. Year 2004, the winner was John Updike for The Early Stories, 1953 to 1975. And uh, I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. Uh, in 2005, the winner was Ha Jin for War Trash. And I read a couple of the finalists. Uh, Edwidge Danticat, The Dew Breaker. And uh, Marilyn Robinson, Gilead. Uh, 2006, the winner was E.L. Dr. Rowe for The March. And uh, I didn't read any of the finalists for that year. 2007, the win winner was Philip Roth for Every Man. And uh, I didn't read any finalists that year. Uh, 2008, the winner was Kate Christensen for The Great Man. And I did read a couple of finalists. Uh, David Levitt, The Indian Clerk. And Ron Rash, Chemistry and Other Stories. Two thousand and nine, the winner was Joseph O'Neill, Netherland. And uh, again, I didn't read any finalists from that year. Um, Two thousand and ten, the winner was Sherman Alexi, War Dances. And I didn't read any for that year, any finalist. Uh, 2011, the winner was Deborah Eisenberg, The Collected Stories of Deborah Eisenberg. And I did read a couple of the finalists from that year. Uh, Jennifer Egan, A Visit from the Goon Squad. And uh, Jamie Gordon, Lord of Misrule.
in 2012. The winner was Julie Otsuka uh, for the Buddha or the Buddha in the attic. And I read one of the finalists, Russell Banks, Lost Memory of Skin. Okay, in 2013, that's the year I didn't read the winner. Uh, the winner was uh, Benjamin Alir Sayas for Everything Begins and Ends in the Kentucky Club, but I didn't read it. And I actually didn't read any of the finalists either that year. So in 2014, the winner was Karen Joy Fowler for We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves. I read one uh, of the finalists, and the title of this is Percival, Percival Everett by Virgil Russell, and it's written by Percival Everett. Uh, he's an incredibly clever, inventive, uh, he, he comes up with some great ideas for books, but this was, they're quite enjoyable to read, and he's an excellent writer. Okay, uh, in 2015, the winner was Atticus Lish for Preparation for the Next Life. And I read one finalist, Emily St. John Mandel, Station 11. In 2016, the winner was James Hanaham, Delicious Foods. And I read one finalist, uh, Viet Thanh Nguyen, or uh, The Sympathizer. Okay, 2017, uh, the winner was Imbola Imbu, or Behold the Dreamers. And uh, I didn't read any finalists for that year. Uh, in 2018, the winner was Joan Silber, Improvement. And I read one finalist, Jasmine Ward, Sing, Unburied, Sing. In the year 2019, the winner was one of those names I'm going to massacre when I try to pronounce it. Azarine van der Velet Olumi, or Call Me Zebra. And I read one of the finalists, Richard Powers, The Overstory. In 2020, the winner was Chloe uh, Erigis uh, for Sea Monsters. And I read uh, one of the finalist, Ocean Vuong, uh, On Earth, Were Briefly Gorgeous. Quite, really an exceptionally good book, I thought. Uh, in 2021, the winner was Disha Filia, or The Secret Lives of Church Ladies, and another really excellent short story collection. And finally, uh, the year 2022, the winner was Rabba uh, Alamedin, The Wrong End of the Telescope. He's a marvelous writer. I've only read two books by him, but both have been exceptional. And I read uh, one of the finalists for that year, uh, Carolina de Robertis, The President and the Frog.
And that uh, concludes my presentation of the Penn Faulkner Award. Uh, I want to thank you for watching, uh, and uh, hopefully you'll check out some of my other videos. So thanks a lot.